Well, this is a very interesting day in this case. Hunter Biden's former business partner sitting down right now with lawmakers. He says President Biden didn't just benefit from his family's businesses. He enabled the businesses. Quote, the Biden family business was Joe Biden, period. Fox News getting a hold of Tony Bobulinski's opening statement for his big interview today on Capitol Hill. He also writes, quote, for nearly four years, this is pre-2020 election, by the way, I have tried to tell the American people the truth about serious corruption at the very top of their government. In return, I have been falsely accused of being a purveyor of Russian disinformation. It is clear to me that Joe Biden was the brand that was being sold by the Biden family. And I would just add to China, to Ukraine um, and other countries around the world. So today he reiterated that despite reaching out to special counsel David Weiss, he says, it's very curious that there was no effort by David Weiss or the Department of Justice to even sit down with this career former naval officer. They wouldn't even talk to him after this moment three years ago when he turned over all of his phones and everything to the FBI. They did nothing. Watch. Everything I'm saying is corroborated by emails, WhatsApp chats, agreements, documents, and other evidence. And the American people can judge for themselves. I brought, I guess, for record, three phones that spanned the years 2015 through 2018. These phones have never been held by anybody else besides myself. So Fox News Digital political correspondent Brooke Singman is here. She's been covering this story closely. First, let's go straight to the Justice Department and our correspondent David Spunt reporting live from Washington. Hi, David. Hi, Martha. This interview began around 10 o'clock this morning and is expected to go a few more hours. Republicans are praising Tony Bobulinski. Democrats say his credibility is non-existent. He tries to link Joe Biden and the president, but then provides no evidence. So there is actually zero evidence in his opening statement that links the president. Now, Tony Bobulinski says he's uniquely qualified to talk about what he calls Joe Biden's involvement in Hunter Biden's business deals. He worked with the president's son to create a joint venture with Chinese energy company CEFC. Bobulinski says he met with Joe Biden, then a former VP in 2017. He says he provided text messages that prove he met Joe Biden in May 2017, two times after Joe Biden left the vice presidency. Bobulinski says he texted the president's brother Jim in this text obtained by Fox News digital. Bobulinski texted Jim Biden, great to meet you and spend some time together. Please thank Joe for his time. It was great to talk. Thanks, Tony B. The investigation into Hunter Biden has broadened out into an impeachment investigation of his dad, the president. It will culminate really over the next two weeks, Martha. Next week, the president's brother, Jim Biden, will come and answer questions behind closed doors. Then after that, Hunter Biden at the end of the month. Martha? Yeah, busy, busy time for this committee. Thank you very much, David. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.